Mean Video 718. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You got something to say? Let's have a conversation. I've been taking a lot of heat lately, you know. And maybe it's because of the titles that you've seen on social media, you know. I mean, it's, it's an off day, and I'm taping this episode because, you know, I got I got things to do. I got Here's the reality. Santa State, uh, Clint, uh, Shannon Social Shaw, media is a uh, trip. Alma. And a lot of times we contribute to some of the mess that's on it. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we're victimized by it. People create headlines. They use stuff for clickbait and all of this other stuff. But as it pertains to this heat that I'm taking because of this perception that somehow, some way, Stephen A is against marriage, I welcome that discussion. I know that you don't anticipate a dude speaking on issues like this because this is a woman's world. And most men are scared to death of touching this subject, but damn it, I'm not. Now, in case you don't know, Yes, I have two daughters, but prior to that, I had four older sisters. And in the midst of all of that, I got 15 nieces and nephews, nine nieces to be exact. I've been flummoxed with women around my life, all my life. 90% of my relatives are female. I'm not scared of y'all, because I love y'all. I love y'all, and I truly do, you know? And my mother was the greatest woman I've ever known, God rest her soul. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for her. She's the reason I know there's an angel, that there is a God, because I had her. But that doesn't mean that everything y'all do is right. And I just think that every now and then, since Oprah spent decades showing how much women have been victimized, and she was right, by the way, because some most a lot of dudes, we, we trifling as hell. Let's just call it what it is. We need to do better. So they write about that. Oprah and Gail. Let me not get, forget about Gail King, her right hand. Because Lord knows I've had to listen to Gail for years because I know her personally because she's a friend. Lord, I, I know. But I have found it a tad bit odd that I haven't heard these women speak on Jada, as in Jada Pinkett Smith. They didn't speak on, on, on this woman, Keisha Chavez, the wife of former number one overall pick in the NBA, Joe Smith. And they didn't speak about that girl from the video weeks ago. We don't know her name, but we know her because she refused to go on a first date at the Cheesecake Factory. Ah, do I look like I should be going to a cheesecake factory. You look like you have been there many times. So what would we want with the first day being there? But that's just me. And I ain't saying there's anything wrong with you looking like you've been there several times. Ain't nothing wrong with the thickness. Ain't nothing wrong. But you get where I'm coming from. My point is this. We got to speak on certain issues. And I got to remind y'all, fellas, we don't need to be running from stuff like this. Ladies have standards that need to be met, and they are not wrong. But men have standards, too. We have feelings. Oh, we care. We do. And we don't like the way some women, not most, not all, but some women have acted. So I'm not running from touching on this subject. And if I got on the shade just because I'm in a football mode and, and I'm getting ready to enjoy some games and I think I look quite good in these shades, but I digress. Here's where I'm going with it. Jada Pinkett Smith, with her new book, Worthy, and telling her personal business about Will Smith over the years, I thought engaged in a level of emasculation that was incredibly alarming. So much so that women should have been willing to speak out about it quicker than that. I think the woman Keisha Chavez, I don't know whether she was an adult film star or had aspirations to do that, but the fact of the matter is you're married to Joe Smith and behind his back, you had an OnlyFans account. And when he found out and he was upset about it, 
You literally filmed your husband and you arguing about it. And then, of course, the woman with the cheesecake factory. So you're going out on a first date. It is clearly not your car. This man pulls up. He's about to take you into the cheesecake factory and so offended and put off you are. That not only do you film it. But you lock him out of his own car while you're filming it. My question is to the ladies out there. Shade room, ladies at the shade room, ladies all over the place. My question is, y'all, forget the fellas for a second. Forget the fellas. What's right about that? What's right about that? My question to the ladies is, how many times are y'all going to let other ladies give y'all a bad name? Because not, I, I refuse to believe that 1% of the female population condones that. Condones their business being displayed and disseminated publicly when it's clearly a private matter. I refuse to believe that y'all think that's okay. When y'all gonna do something about it? When are y'all gonna shame these ladies into keeping their business private? And stop publicizing their nonsense. There is no relationship that's devoid of problems. There is no relationship that you can point to. And you can sit up there and say, hey, it's okay for this to be publicized. This is everybody's business. You got Jada Pinkett. No, you wasn't the one that came out publicly, if I recall correctly, and talked about, how you didn't enjoy having sex with Will Smith anymore. I think it was you, but if it wasn't you, it got out. How'd I get out? Who the hell you told? Your children clamoring for Tupac, who've been dead for 30 years practically, almost. God rest his soul. How'd I get out? How'd that happen? You got a book coming out and you're talking about how y'all been separated for years. Well, when he slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, wasn't you there as a date? Weren't you in arm and arm with him? Weren't y'all partying in the aftermath at the Oscars? When he should have ran his ass out of there before he got arrested? Because he could have been arrested if Chris Rock wanted him to. What about that? And don't get me started on Will. Yes, I'm going to regurgitate the same thing. Will Packer, first black man producing the Oscars. Compromise the night for him. Compromise the night for Chris Rock, 60 pounds lighter than you. And he's the one you chose to slap. Then on top of it all, my brother Antoine Fuqua directing and producing Emancipation, which, by the way, based on Will Smith's performance, I believe was worthy of an Oscar. Or at least Oscar consideration. But no, that went out the window because of the slap. And don't talk to me about him being banned for 10 years from the Oscars. I was told he didn't even want to go that night. Then everything happened. But all of a sudden, all of these months later, well, she didn't really know. She didn't really realize that he had sat up there and you know what? It was like, yo, she didn't even know that he had, he had got slapped or anything like that. She didn't know it was real. Really? Really? And by the way, I never got into, nor am I going to now, don't think I didn't notice, I completely agree with Jim Carrey. Actor Jim Carrey and comedian Jim Carrey, who went off, not only talked about how he would have sued, but he also talked about how appalled he was that folks in Hollywood stood up and applauded Will Smith once he received his Oscar and they acted like nothing happened. All of that backdrop, and she still comes out with a book. Tell them more of their personal business. Ladies, you can, I know a lot of y'all have spoken about it, but as far as I'm concerned, it ain't enough. And the girl, Chavez, you, 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 an adult, you on OnlyFans and you were involved in adult film before he met you? He married you. 
You talking about you got bills to pay and everybody knows his financial difficulties. That is your husband. Respectfully, you lucky your ass got a man. Because when you give yourself away for, for, for a price, you can be bought. And if you can be bought, who do you truly belong to? That easily could have been a decision that Joe Smith made. Instead, he decided to invest in you and to marry you and to give his life to you. Do I think I, I ain't never been married? Why I know marital vows better than you ever did? For better or worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health until death do us part. Why do I seem to know that better than you and I ain't never been married? And then on top of it all, to further exacerbate the situation. And by the way, embarrass your damn self. You're going to turn around and go on TMZ? Really? Really? These are the reasons. Now, y'all might look at it and y'all might say that along with the girl for the Cheesecake Factory. Good luck keeping a man with that attitude, by the way. I'd have took your ass to White Castle personally. I mean, that's what I would have done just to spite you after that. Not before, but after that. Yeah, after that, well, I'd took your ass to White Castle. Because I don't know if y'all know this. White Castle is the best laxative in the business. I'm going to tell you right now. You got gas issues or whatever the case may be, you go to White Castle, but it's going to get resolved. I'm telling you. Tell, 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 whatever's in your system don't come out. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I need to go to the bathroom, I go to White Castle because I love me some White Castle. It tastes delicious. And it doesn't stay stuck in your stomach when you get bloated and stuff like that because you don't want to be bloated. You don't want to walk around feeling like you got a pot belly. You want to let it out. You want to let it out. Anybody out there walking around with a stomach and you're feeling too bloated, go eat White Castle. It'll come out. It'll come out. I'm trying to tell you right now. This is my personal opinion. I don't know this for sure, but I love White Castle. Love White Castle. Absolutely love it. But I digress. My point in saying what I'm saying is very, very simple. At the end of the day, I'm bringing up all of these stories for a reason. It's time for the ladies to step up and call out these trifling ass women that be doing this stuff to men. Y'all don't hesitate to call us out. Y'all don't hesitate to call us out. When we doing something wrong, what about when y'all doing something wrong? I'm talking about as a gender. Men screw up all the time. And when we screw up, we deserve to be called out for it. Privately. Not publicly. But if our business is public, you will call us out. Why give these women a pass? Why make it okay for them to continue to show their face, saying and spilling the things that they say and spew? Why? You're not going to encourage people to come together as one if you don't step up and start calling this stuff out. You see, when the Stephen A. Smith show comes back in full throttle, starting the 14th, when I'm in my new studios, let me tell you something. One of the things that we're going to make a point of doing, we're going to touch on all of these issues. We're going to make sure we ain't running from anything. We're going to make sure that fairness is the order of the day. And we're paying attention to what's right and what's wrong for everybody, not just for y'all. Want to make the world a better place? Let's do better. Stop letting these people get away with stuff. Let's not let people publicize this folks' business. Joe Smith don't deserve to have everybody know how broke he is, assuming that's the truth. Will Smith, despite his transgressions against Chris Rock, which deserve nothing short of an ass kicking, Will Smith is still a good guy that continues to show how great of a guy he's been to Jada Pinkett Smith. Regardless of what she might have on him, what wrong he may have done or whatever, he don't deserve that because he certainly don't talk about her business and he ain't profiting off of it either. And the girl with the cheesecake, you know, come on now. You know good and damn well you've been to Cheesecake Factory several times. I could see it. You know you, you, you know you have. You understand? What was it? Chicken sandwich? Shrimp scampi? Fettuccine Alfredo with shrimp? Burgers? Something? You know. Stop it. You know. You've been to quite a few family barbecues, so you damn sure have been to Cheesecake Factory too. And to Joe Smith's wife,
you for sale? Is that what it is? You for sale? Well, why didn't you leave them there and say you for sale? Why didn't you just go out there and be for sale? Why you had to let everybody know, this is my husband and I'm for sale. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. This is just a taste of what's coming y'all way in the next couple of weeks and beyond. It's a new era. It's called the Stephen A. Smith Show. Buckle up and don't say I didn't warn you. Because I have. I'm out, y'all. I got things to do. Talk to you later. Peace and love. Hey, you.